Hello, this is Mr. Stansberry. I'm going to take you through some of the problems from the 2A assignment. Okay, first one to look at is number one, write using set notation. Um, A, uh, five is an element of set D. So for that, we do five, and then element is the goofy looking E sideways like that, element of set D. Okay, B, uh, actually, I take that back, C is next. I'm just going to do some of these, not all of these. C, D is not an element of the set of all English vowels. So D is not an element, E with a slash through it, um, the set of all English vowels. So let's do, we could even do the little set notation, English vowels. Oops. All right. That was terrible attempt at the bracket that's a little smidge better okay and then d two five is a subset of this set here so let's say two five is a subset <clears throat> that's the little c with the line under it of one two three four forgot four four five and six okay Okay, moving on to number two. Decide whether each set is finite or infinite. Finite you can count, infinite you cannot count. So all the factors of 10. So that would be 1 times 10, 2 times 5. So 1, 10, 2, and 5, that would be finite because we can count all four of those. Multiples of 10 would be 10, 20, 30, 40 and this goes on forever and ever so that would be considered infinite because you cannot count how many there are because it goes on forever and ever okay all right um uh, the next one we're going to take a look at here is four let s equal this t equals those find n of s so remember the n the lowercase n before some kind of set here means the number of elements. So one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six elements. Okay. B, decide whether the statement is true or false. Four is an element of set S. So there's four in set S, so that would be true. One is not an element of T. So there's T. One is not in there, so that is also true. Okay, number five, set S and set T. List all the subsets of S and T. So, the subsets of S, okay, would be, there's always the empty set. Empty set is always the subset of any set, which is weird, I know, but... It's just kind of the way it works. So we could also do one, we could do two, and we could do one and two. Those would be all the subsets. Okay, so subsets of T are going to be empty set. We also have one, two, three I know my brackets are awful it pretty much looks like three with a couple of other threes surrounding it but uh, it's kind of hard to draw all those brackets over and over so um, I'm just gonna leave it like that so we've got one two three and then we got all the combinations in there as well so we can do one and two one and three we can do two and three and then we can do all of them one two and three okay and that should be all the subsets for each okay um moving on to the last one from this assignment seven suppose a equals the prime numbers between 30 and 40 b is mul even numbers between 30 and 40 c is the composite numbers between 30 and 40 d is the multiples of 21 between 30 and 40 list the elements of each set okay so for part a we're going to do set A, which will be 
and then we'll do set B and set C and set D, right? Okay, <clears throat> so in A, prime numbers between 30 and 40. So between, if it wanted to include those, which it doesn't matter because neither of those are prime anyway, if it wanted to include it, it would say between and including. Um, and none of these say that. So literally between would start with 31 up to 39 is what we want to look at there. So 31 is prime, 32 is not, 33 isn't. 34 isn't, 35 isn't, 36 isn't, 37 I believe is, and I, 39, 38 isn't, and 39 isn't. So I think it's just those two, right? Uh, for B, even numbers between 30 and 40. So uh, again, we got we can't start with 30. We got to start with 31. So we just do all of them between 30, between 30 and 40, but not including. So 32, 34, 36. And 38. C, composite numbers between 30 and 40. So those are all the numbers that aren't prime, so it's all the numbers between uh, 30 and 40 besides 31 and 37, right? So we'll list all those off. Oops. Okay, and then D, multiples of, tw multiples of 21 between 30 and and 40. Interesting, because the multiples of 21 would be, what, 21, and the next one is 42. That does not fit in there, so we have the empty set for D. So you could write it like that, or remember, we can do this as well. Okay? For part B, find the N of A, number of items, number of elements in A. There's two. Okay? Which of the sets listed are subsets of A? So which of these would fit into A? That doesn't, that doesn't, but the empty set fits into everything. So subsets of A would be set D. And we'd also have to include A as well, because A is a subset of A. It's not a proper subset, but it is a subset. Okay, because remember, proper subset are is um the two sets cannot be equal to each other but a regular subset you can okay and then last one d true or false 33 is an element of c so there's 33 in the element of c so that is true and 37 is not an a that 37 is an a so this would be false okay all right, that's all we have for uh, problems from 2A. If you have any further questions, please feel free to ask. Thanks.